Okay, so this game has a bonkers name, but I guess by rights it should do as it's developed by Platinum Games, the same people that made the out there Bayonetta. It's actually a rather odd fusion because it mixes frantic action you wouldn't expect to see in a Metal Gear game with stuff you would expect to see and not necessarily love in the form of long drawn out cutscenes that go on about politics. <sighs> It's good then that other cutscenes feature Raiden cutting things to bits with his massive sword and then kicking them in the face so all their limbs fall off. Metal Gear Rising is not exactly subtle and is filled with humour that would only occasionally appear for light relief in Solid Snake's adventures. It's basically a hack and slash game where you cut everything up that stands in your path using a two button combo technique with one special modifier. Hold down the left trigger and you can slow down time and use the right stick to aim and slice with your sword, meaning not only can you cut your foes and parts of the environment a bit, but also commit Zandatsu where, by hitting a target somewhere in an enemy's spine, you can then press a button to reach in and pull out their spine, crushing it and using it to fuel your own half cyborg body. It's neat and uber violent in a cartoonish sort of way and something you never really tire of. You may however get tired of being repeatedly knocked down as you try to master parrying and blocking. It's something not really explained properly in the game and something you really need to get the hang of in order to give you the edge in combat. Technically the action never slows down but this does come at a cost. Some of the arenas can be drab in nature but to be honest you're not really looking at the scenery when a Metal Gear is trying to stomp on your noggin. Boss fights also come into play now and then and these are typically over the top and great fun to take part in. Metal Gear Rising is short though, you can easily rinse through this in an afternoon and there's not that much reason to go back and play it unless you're trying to S rank everything, hunt down all the achievements or you want to try your hand at the optional VR missions. Still what it does it does do very well but for me it just lacks some of the charm of Bayonetta. It's just a shame then that Bayonetta 2 is only coming out on the Wii U. Metal Gear Rising gets an excellent 8 out of 10. You've been watching a review from Games Weasel. If you want to get the show each week which includes video game reviews, news, previews, competitions and special features then head over to gamesweasel.com for our video podcast Games Weasel TV. Gamesweasel.com